Hello, hello, hello. Right, here we go. Now we've we've got a we've got a new pupil starting today. So uh, reckless, if you'd like to stand up, this is reckless. I'm sure you're going to make him feel very uh, warmly welcome, and uh, we'll show him all of the all of the ropes here at the uh, here at the school. Okay, good. But uh, now reckless, uh, I understand that you've got a joke that you'd like us to explain. So let's uh, let's do that for you now, because that's uh, that's what this class is, apparently. Um, so let's have a look at what joke you've got. Ooh, ropes. Yeah, they're in the gym. Uh, I have enough torture points. Uh, torture points. I have enough redeem points, but I don't want to. That's very, very welcome, Christopher. Reckless has no compunction. Ah, uh, straight in there with a, with a reclaim. Uh, whiteboard, whiteboard indeed. Whiteboard indeed. Ah, right. So Reckless writes, a man walks into a library and asks the librarian for books about paranoia. She whispers, they're right behind you. They're right behind you. So a library, a library, library is a um, usually municipal building. That is that it's run by the local council. Um, a municipal building where people uh, can go and borrow uh, books for <clears throat> where people can go and 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 borrow books you see oh see what he did I thought he was just writing the word up but he somehow he's turned it into part of the drawing this chap's just levitating there um so, in this particular joke, chap goes into the library, speaks to the librarian, who um, has come dressed as a hot dog, and um, says, uh, "Can I? Can I? Uh, where are the? Where are the? Uh, uh, ask the librarian about books about about paranoia. Now, paranoia is a particular um, uh, condition where essentially you think that uh, you're being targeted." Um, and different levels of paranoia and different sort of natures of paranoia. There's paranoid schizophrenia where one one might build up an entire sort of uh, fictional um, world of conspiracy uh, of, of, that's uh, out to get you. That's entirely possible. Um, but uh, yes, so it's essentially that notion, that notion that somebody somewhere is out to get you and uh, and... They're going to hide it from you, so you're never, you're never sure. You're never sure. You're, you're pretty sure. Um, yeah, that that's going on. So in this in this particular case, uh, you might be paranoid that you're being followed. That's an, that's one form of paranoia. So if if you're if you're generally paranoid, you might walk down the street, sort of in a way, sort of like our um, our Scottish uh, police officer earlier, who was paranoid uh, that she was being followed by a drone. Uh, but as we've discussed, it turned out to be uh, Jupiter. Uh, there is this, or, or, and I'll save that for the wait. Okay, so um, this chap says, you know, where are your books about paranoia, and the librarian says, they're behind you. You see, which which keys into that notion of paranoia. You see, because they are often, you know, the, they are the ones that are out to get you, and they are the ones that are following you. So they may be right behind you. You see, yeah. So basically, saying they're right behind you isn't the sort of thing that you want to say to somebody who's paranoid. You see. Because it, it plays into the delusional state. Uh, so, um, uh, Reckless, uh, have I explained that joke f uh, to your full satisfaction, sir? Of course, it's worth pointing out that just because you're paranoid, as the saying goes, doesn't mean they're not out to get you. You know. Paranoid about being watched. Exactly, Gamara. Yes. Uh, yes, thank you, sir. Good stuff. Right. But, Colonel, all we need uh, is a pin for an exorcism. Some salt. We need some salt. Got to have salt in an exorcism, you know. Yeah. I just realised. Uh, yeah, he was levitating off off board. That's fine. Okay. So another joke successfully explained. Let's get uh, landed somewhere. <laughs>